Hello children, welcome to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 9 of your grade 10 textbook. We are practicing grammar today. Once you complete this lesson, you will be able to form adjectives correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, we have already done a lesson on adjectives. In that lesson, we learned how to use adjectives to describe people only. It was Unit 1, Lesson 4. If you have missed this lesson, subscribe to our channel and watch it. Today we are going to practice more on adjectives. We are going to learn how to form adjectives correctly. Let's do a quick revision and recap what we basically learnt about adjectives before learning about the formation of adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. An adjective describes or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun. Today our purpose is learning how to form adjectives correctly. How are adjectives formed? How is the noun beauty converted to beautiful which is an adjective? We can use suffixes to change nouns and verbs into adjectives. I hope you remember the lesson we did on prefixes and suffixes. It was Unit 3, Lesson 5. In this lesson, we learned how suffixes change the word class of the base word to which it is added. If you couldn't watch it, make it a point to watch it. Now let's learn some suffixes that are used to form adjectives. Let's learn the two suffixes le double s that is less and ful full. The suffix less usually means without something while the suffix full usually means to have something. Hopeless, without hope, hopeful, with hope. This is the suffix ish. When it is added, certain nouns become adjectives. You can add ish to an adjective too to form a new adjective. Childish, like a child. Brownish, like brown. Here brown is an adjective. And brownish also is an adjective. For materials, we can add en to nouns to create adjectives that mean made of. For example, wooden, made of wood. Woolen, made of wool. When we add the suffix able, that is able, to a verb, it creates adjectives that express ability. For example, drinkable can be drunk, readable can be read. This table shows a list of suffixes that can be added to nouns to form adjectives. You can refer to it for more examples. And this table shows a list of suffixes that can be added to verbs to form adjectives. Okay children, I hope you have an idea on how to form adjectives now. Let's do an activity to practice forming adjectives now. This is activity 9 on page 98 of your textbook. Here you have 8 sentences with blanks. You have to form suitable adjectives using the nouns given in brackets and fill in the blanks. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check your answers. Read the first one. There are many blank attract places in Sri Lanka. What is the adjective you can form with the verb attract? You have to add the suffix ive to form the adjective attractive. So the sentence is, there are many attractive places in Sri Lanka. Now the second one. Most of the blank medicine 
plants can be found in the forests what is the adjective you can form with the noun medicine here yes it's medicinal you have to add the suffix al so the sentence is most of the medicinal plants can be found in the forests let's move on to the third one nobody likes the blank fear experience of natural disasters you can form two adjectives with the noun or the verb fear one is fearless and the other one is fearful what is the correct one needed here to suit this context it is about natural disasters so the adjective needed is fearful nobody likes the fearful experience of natural disasters let's check the fourth one the sentence is the lecture on disaster management was very blank in form to the students now what is the adjective you can form with the verb inform it is informative you have to add the suffix t i v e so the answer is the lecture on disaster management was very informative to the students now the fifth one watching a waterfall in a dark evening is an blank o experience here you have the noun om the adjective is awesome you have to add the suffix s o m e to the noun so the answer is watching a waterfall in a dark evening is an awesome experience let's check the sixth one there are many blank luxury hotels in places of tourist attraction luxury is a noun we have to form an adjective using this noun to suit this context okay what is the adjective it's luxurious the answer is there are many luxurious hotels in places of tourist attraction the suffix needed to the noun luxury is i o u s when you add this suffix there is a spelling change too as you would have noticed now the seventh sentence most of the teenagers prefer blank adventure travel to indoor activities i think you are very familiar with this adjective it's adventurous you have to add the suffix o u s to the noun adventure like in the earlier one here also there is a spelling change the sentence should be most of the teenagers prefer adventurous travel to indoor activities let's check the last one for some people mountain climbing is a blank tire experience okay here tire is a verb what is the adjective you can form just like with o here also you have to add the suffix is so in me so adjective is tiresome for some people mountain climbing is a tiresome experience i hope you got all eight answers correct okay children now let's do another activity this is also from your textbook it is activity 10 on page 99 Here you have to fill in the table given with the other forms of the words given. Refer to the three column headings: noun, verb, or adjective, and fill in the blanks. So it's not on the adjectives you have to form this time. So pause the video and do it. Okay, children. Let's check whether you have done it correctly. Here is the completed table. First you have the noun education. 
what did you write as the verb and the adjective the verb be said you can't and the adjective is said you occasional in the next row you have the verb beautify so what is the noun it is beauty and the adjective is beautiful next row you have the adjective careful so what is the noun it's care and the verb also is care in the th next one you have manageable adjective so what is the noun you can create two nouns one is management and the other one is manager and the verb is manage next one you have the noun coral so the verb also is to coral and the adjective is quarrelsome next you have the verb wonder so the noun also is wonder and the adjective is wonderful next you have the noun love and the verb also is same and the adjective you have two adjectives here one is lovely and the other one is loving then we have study in the column of for nouns so the verb also is study and the adjective is studious next you have hopeless it's an adjective so the noun is hope and the verb also is hope i hope you filled all the blanks correctly Okay children this is the end of today's lesson in this lesson we learned how to form adjectives correctly i hope it was useful don't forget to subscribe to our channel too goodbye